Hey guys, welcome back to Up to Par Golf. My name is Jordan. Today we are going to be playing Four Lakes Golf Course. This is going to be a par 58 course with a course rating of 60.6 and a slope rating of 93. 15 of the 18 holes today are going to be par 3s. I'm sorry, that's kind of boring. But I like to play here a lot because I really struggle with my short game. So I feel like it's very good practice for me. And that's why I record it a lot. We are currently on the mission to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I think we can do it. If you'd like to be a part of the mission, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Starting off on the par 3 side, we are starting with a 140 yard par 3. I hit my tee shot a little bit too far to the left, just missing the green. Had a pretty redeeming chip. And I was able to knock it down for a par. Hole number two is about 100 yards. Today I was struggling a little bit with my distances as I was hitting them a lot further than I normally do. And this one is out the back. I hit a decent-ish bump and run. Let's see if I can knock it down for par. I was able to knock in a long one, securing my par for hole number two. Hole number three is 180 yards. There it is. Stay on though. I hit a pretty good draw, but again, it was a little bit too far and on the back fringe. I don't know what I did with this putt, but I didn't even give it a real opportunity, leaving it about halfway short. And I just missed the par putt. We still have some meat for the bogey but I'm able to put it down for a bogey for hole number three. Hole number four is 120 yards. I'm pulling my wedges a lot. You're just barely on that fringe. I think you just want to ending this one on the left edge. I don't know why I opted for the gap wedge here. I should have putted it. The poor club choice results in a very bad strike and we're left with a long opportunity for par. Luckily, we were able to knock down the bogey for hole number four. <laughs> hole number five is 160 is. yards. As as can be. I actually hit a really good, good shot. Game, I tend dude. to be way left on this hole, so center of the green was perfect. A long birdie opportunity almost rolls in, but a tap in par is always acceptable. Hole number six is 110 yards where I am cooking it a little bit too much and I'm out the back again. My bump and runs are okay. At least I'm ending up on the green. But I left myself a little bit too much room and missed the par putt, giving me a bogey for hole number six. Hole number seven is 150 yards. Oh no. I scold my tee shot ending in the right rough. I was able to hit pretty good distance on this bump and run. It was just a little bit too far to the left. And I'm just not able to put those long putts down, giving me another bogey for hole number seven. Hole number eight is 140 yards. For some reason, all of the tee boxes were like oh, about dude, 150 so yards. I'm not sure why, I but I ended up <laughs> finding the center of the green on this one. The long opportunity for birdie. I put it within tapping range for my par. Hole number nine is 170 yards. Solid. Bounce up. This one was decent-ish distance, but I did end up on the left fringe. A very unlikely birdie opportunity falls in. Hole number 10 is a 345-yard par 4. I sliced my drive pretty bad, but I got super lucky and it bounced off the trees and went back into the fairway. And I end up pulling my wedge shot here. And I end up just out the back. Damn, why am I pulling my wedge so hard? Specifically this club. 
My bump and run almost doesn't make it to the green. And we barely lip out of the par putt. Giving me a bogey for hole number 10. Hole number 11 is a 135 yard par three. And my tee shot ends up way too short and ends up oh in the water. No! So I take a drop in the drop zone. Oh, nice. I made hit a pretty decent chip. And for our bogey putt, I'm just trying to put this in tapping distance, giving me a double bogey for hole number 11. Hole number 12 is 190 yard par three. I hit a pretty good tee shot. I made solid contact. I just ended up out the back a little bit. My bump and runs have been okay on the contact and distance. I'm just pulling them pretty bad. But I'm happy to be on the green. And if my putts were just a little bit better, I could save a lot more pars, but that's gonna give me another bogey for hole number 12. Hole number 13 is a 180 yard par three. Made a solid contact on my tee once again, ending just on the front edge of the green. With a super long putt for birdie. Just barely misses, but it is in tapping distance, giving me a psych. It's giving me a bogey for hole number 13. Love just hitting a nice long putt and missing a three foot fucking tap in. Hole number 14 is our first and only par five at 460 yards. I hit a really good drive, got good distance on it, and just ended in the right rough a little bit. And to follow up the great drive, I end up nuking my nine iron over the trees out the back side of the green, causing me to take a penalty drop. So now I'm chipping for four, which does not end up well. And then a complete misread on the putt. But luckily, we are close enough for a bogey on hole number 14. Hole number 15 is a 340 yard par four. There it is. Holy shit. I absolutely hit a nuke. I thought this was going to be on the green, but it was probably a little bit too spinny. and my approach ends up on the right fringe again. And for some reason again, I opt for my chip instead of a putt, which puts me a little bit too far outside the gimme range, giving me a bogey for hole number 15. Hole number 16 is 175 yards, and I decide to just roll one all the way to the green find myself with an unlikely birdie opportunity. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Unfortunately, my short putts are just not good today. I don't know what was going on, but I missed this, giving me a bogey for hole number 16. Hole number 17 is a 130 yard par three. I hit a pretty good shot ending about pin high just a little bit too far to the left it's a pretty good opportunity at a birdie here it just doesn't connect giving me a par for hole number 17. hole number 18 is 160 yards and i hit another good tee shot i've been really consistent with my tee shots today finding the center of the green and with another long opportunity to birdie, it just doesn't connect, but we are able to tap in for a par on hole number 18, giving me a grand total of 11 over par for the day, there it is. That was straight which is a pretty good score for me. I mean, I am a 15 handicap. It's good not the best dude. score I've ever had on this course. I did mess up quite a few times. There were a lot of like tap-ins and three-foot putts that I should have made that could have easily lowered my score quite a bit. 
But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.